Hello and welcome back to Persona 5 Strikers. Uh, so, last time we had the beach episode, and this time we have the sign episode. I saw the sign, it's over here, and it says no entry beyond this point. Well, I think we should go past it. Hmm? No entry beyond this point? Well, if that's not suspicious, but do you think it has anything to do with the research lab? With the sun setting soon, going alone may be overly risky. That's true. Should we call everyone else over then? Yeah, do it. Leave it to me. Okay, I'll contact everyone. No entry beyond this point? Uh, I wonder what for. I admit, it only contributes to the mysterious vibe here. Oh, looks like a dare to me. Come on, who's willing to go the farthest past it? Nope, this is the end of the line. Ooh, okay, he doesn't want us trespassing. There's an utaki down that way. See, there, on the sign. Okay, what's an utaki? What's an utaki? Thank you, Morgana. Basically, it's a land that's been considered holy since the Ryukyu era. People used to believe the gods lived there, or at least came to Earth there. Interesting, okay. Now, we saw earlier there was some stuff around research lab that was meant to be, um, like, religious in some nature. So I'm wondering if there was a connection there. We also know that in P5, I think something referred to itself as the God of Control or something like that. So I'm wondering whether there's a connection to the overall Persona lore in this, but we'll see. Locals still revere the places, even today. Going down there for a laugh could get you in real trouble. And that's added on to the fact that obviously every shadow is in fact, you know, based off some kind of myth or god or legend. So there is a natural connection to religion inside Persona that isn't explored very far, but it could be that this is going to explore it. Oh, I never heard of that stuff here. I'm surprised you know all that. Well, Investigation 101 says to know your territory. Feel free to keep buttering me up though. Does that mean there are Ryukyu-era customs still being practiced today? Yep. Reverence of the incomprehensible is ingrained deep in human consciousness. Well, I'm sure you have no interest in pissing off a god today. Let's all listen to the sign and get out of here. Hmm. Is this similar to that gate? That is exactly the question I want answered. No, those festoons work differently. But now that you mention it, it is kind of strange. Can I point out, I really like it when a game's dialogue is done like that. And I really like it when um, it lines up with your own thinking. Because that shows that they they have a, they have know what the player is thinking at that moment. At least for me. And I really like that where it's like, I wonder if that's connected to this. And it's saying, you know, here's an answer for you. Is it connected? I, I think that, that kind of stuff is, is, is cool because it kind of drags you into the story. It's your own question getting answered. Anyway. I checked online for any relevant information, but this place does not appear to have any real significance. So maybe a fake sign? The other subjects here are far more interesting, such as the shape of the coastline, the sounds of the waves crashing, and the oceanic life forms. A person's values can affect what makes an impact on them. It might be insignificant to you, but to others, this place may be very sacred. It depends on my values. My apologies. Inari's stomach. Right on time, as always. Well, I'm starving too. I bet we all worked up an appetite out there. Should we finally kick off our long-awaited barbecue? Hmm, let's do it. Uh, hell yeah! Time for an Okinawan meat festival! Don't forget the curry! We gotta make some tropical edition LeBlanc curry! Um, uh, that's not exactly barbecue food. Also, didn't you already have curry on the ferry? You can't have too much curry. Hmm. I accept your challenge. Curry will be a perfect complement to the searing white sands of this tropical paradise. That makes no sense at all. Seriously, what is with you two and curry? Hey. Hey. What's up? Thank you for earlier. When you gave me the underwater tour? You're very welcome. It was a fascinating experience, and something no AI could ever do on their own. Well, unless they had a robot body or something, but that's ridiculous. 
I guess you could say it made my heart feel full. Although, I don't have a heart. Hmm. But you do have one. It's a simple fact. There is no need to attempt to spare the feelings I lack. I am still going to try to understand what feelings are, though. I came to that realization when I first stared out at the sea. For example, being with you and the other Phantom Thieves. It's quite... fun. Yes. Fun. Did I get that right? That's right. I got it. I understand another emotion. Okay. I've memorized what fun is. <laughs> hmm. I'm wondering whether Sophia's little tunes that she does are like connected to something deeper. Because it seems like an odd thing for an AI to have picked up, like, you know, a little tune. It, it's interesting. I'm wondering if they're going to expand on that, or whether it's just, you know, a little quirk. Because it seems like Sophia has quite a lot of little quirks, which seems quite odd for an AI, you might say. Hey, pick up the pace! We've got a whole lot of cooking ahead of us! We prepared our feast on the beach. Ooh. Oh. Oh man, this meat is so good. Hey, you saw me about to grab that piece. The curry is divine as always. And with these leftovers, we're sure to dine on curry udon tomorrow. Let's ignore the fact that you're already planning tomorrow's dinner. Why not add deep fried tofu for Inari curry udon? We've been eating nothing but the most delicious food since this trip began. You're welcome. Traveling makes it a lot easier to lose track of one's diet. I should be more careful. Huh? But you're so toned, Makoto. Right? Uh... You look pretty ripped. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Although, I admit, I haven't found as much time to train as I'd like lately. I mean, who cares if you've packed on a few extra pounds? It probably gives your punches some extra oomph. Ryuji? Wanna test your theory? No, please, I don't! Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Uh, is that the cheerful man we saw earlier who was quite clearly not cheerful? What is it, Zenkichi? Upset stomach? Hmm? Oh. Nah. Something bothering you? It's probably nothing. Let's wrap up. We gotta wake up early tomorrow. Okay. Hey guys. Something's up. Oh. Yeah? What's that? Keep it down. And listen. I think... You think? You think what? What do you think? Um, we're not there. Oh, okay. Well, now I'm just freaked out. When did this turn into a horror game? Far, find them. Oh, uh, what? We have to Good punish them for defiling hollow ground. Find them. We'll they make an offering close. out of them. Where are them. they? They couldn't have gotten far. Spread out. Come on. They can't. Come on. Find they're them. somewhere. <laughs> okay. That was out of nowhere. What the hell is going on? Those guys are effing nuts. Yeah, I'm with you. No kidding. 
If Zenkichi hadn't picked up on what was about to happen... He said something about defiling hollowed ground. What's that supposed to mean? Well, that would imply that we went down to that sacred place, but we obviously didn't go there. Hmm. The Otaki? Huh? We didn't actually go, though! Maybe... It was the lab? It could be. Remember that straw festoon we saw on the entrance? That's right. We saw it, then proceeded further anyway. Hang on, hang on. What's so friggin' hollow about some lab? And even if it is hollowed, that doesn't explain how they're acting at all. They look like they want to kill us. It doesn't matter how we look at it, these people have lost their minds. Wait, could this be... Hmm. There is a jail here. And that would mean there's a monarch somewhere around here, yeah? But Sophia said she can't smell a jail here. Correct. I cannot smell any jails here. However, you did also say you got a bad feeling from this place. Considering our current situation, I can only assume it's due to a changing of their hearts. But nobody tried to attack us until just now. Perhaps there really is something on this island. Something even Sophia can't detect. What do we do now? They'll catch us if we just stay here. Hmm. Let's go to the Utaki? Good idea. That place is hallowed ground to them, so they might not be willing to go there. Actually, if we plan on trespassing somewhere they don't want us, shouldn't we go to the lab? Could do. You seem awfully fixated on that, Zenkichi. What do you mean, Gramps? It's pretty obvious, based on how they treat that place, there's something fishy there. No matter where we go on this island, they'd catch us eventually. Why not strike at the heart of the matter right away? By heart of the matter, do you mean a jail? However, there is no jail. Sure there's no jail, but I'd bet we'll at least find something in their holy land. And it sure sounds like a better plan than waiting in the bushes until they find us, right? Hmm. Yes, it does. I've got to agree. Okay, let's head for the lab. Wait, how are we getting there without getting spotted? <laughs> what are you asking me for? Aren't you guys the phantom thieves? Yeah, but usually we do it in the cognitive world with our superpowers. Well, those abilities are only relevant in the cognitive world. You just gotta go with the flow. Follow my lead and keep your voices down. Uh, we lost them, right? Yeah, looks like the coast is clear. That's surprising. I expected guards to be posted here more so than anywhere else. Well, if it's hallowed ground, maybe they don't want to be here either? Wait, listen. Eek! Footsteps, hide. What's he doing? can't exactly tell from over here. This could actually be good for us. There's only one guy. If we capture him, we might be able to question him. Hmm. I can help out. <laughs> Don't worry. Leave it to the professional. You're doing it by yourself, Gramps? I've been through enough training. I'll be fine. You guys just stay here and keep an eye out for any of his buddies. Holy crap! Gramps just got way cooler! Hello, excuse me? Scoundrel! You dare defile our lord's hallowed ground? Oh, wow. Watch your step there. You all right? Not again. You totally threw him on his ass. Hey, it was clearly self-defense. He truly is a member of public security. Hey, take a look at that. The sign we saw this morning. Is that saying it's closed tomorrow as well? It is, yeah. Look again. The 18th was changed to the 19th. Apparently, the facility's staff is on permanent vacation, one day at a time. Why would they do this? Most likely, to string along anyone who came to the island for the lab. When someone thinks the staff's out for the day, they probably stick around the island. Come nighttime, the locals descend on whoever got too curious to protect whatever's in there. What horrid tactics. 
Well, let's investigate a bit. If his heart's been changed, he should have a smartphone with Emma installed. Up, oh, found it. Yep, there's Emma, all right. And he only has one friend? Oh. Shuzo Ubukata? We haven't heard that one yet. There's a chance this Ubukata is the monarch of Okinawa. Anyone got a keyword? Ah, uh, that one's a lot tougher. Oh, hang on. There's an email here. Cordial invitation to serve as a tester of the Emma system. An Emma tester? Oh, this even has a keyword in it. Operation Oraculi? Who sent him the email? I don't recognize the address. Maybe it's from the lab? The lab asked all of these guys to be Emma testers? What now? Thanks to the email, we know the keywords Operation Oraculi. If the people who call this place hollowed had their hearts changed, then it's going to be jail related, without a doubt. But, like, we can't find the jail here, right, Sophia? Sophia can't find the jail here. Difference there, Ryuji is phrasing. Sophia has something which is blocking her from finding the jail. Okay, I think this is leading into her links to Emma. I'm not sure. At the very least, I do not smell one. Hmm. One way to know for sure. He's right. If we can't get in, that'll settle it. But if there is a jail here, testing the keyword will send us right in. Are we all ready? Yeah, of course. We have no choice but to try. Our pursuers have decided our path. Yeah, even the metaverse feels safer to me than this place does now. Okay, let's do it. Emma, add Shuzo Ubukata to my friend registry. Keyword, Operation Oraculi. Uh, guess it doesn't work. Wait, I can smell a jail. Interesting. The scent is already all around us. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. Oh, we're off. Okay, new jail. Oh, wow. Is this the lab? It's kind of eerie. Bad vibes here, guys. This place looks straight up haunted. Uh, Queen, <gasps> you all right? Uh, <laughs> uh, yep, all oh, fine here. <laughs> you sure don't sound fine. <laughs> Screw you too, kid! Wait, I didn't know you two were... Oh. Uh, 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 no, 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 uh, we're just friends! <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> wow, Mikoto is really so scared. There is a jail here. Okay. This jail looks very familiar. Uh, in that it's got the same kind of look as a, um, I'm forgetting the word they used, but it looks very similar to one of the dungeons in P4. Now, I assume it's completely unconnected, but it looks very similar. And that means this Ubukata person is its monarch, right? But why wasn't Sophie able to detect it until just now? There is a possibility that it was sleeping. Jails can sleep? That doesn't make any sense. What? Once the keyword was entered, it almost felt as if this place woke up. Ah, huh. so you mean jails have a sleep mode? Okay, maybe that could make sense. Now this is a new wrinkle. Hmm. Before we do this, here's my current theory. If my theory about Emma and Sophia being linked is true, 
then this jail could have been created by Sophia. She was then turned off. We found her in the next jail. But if she was turned off, the jail would be turned off. And then it wasn't reactivated till we came here and turned it specifically back on again. Hmm. I feel like someone is calling my name. Oh, hello. <laughs> you appear to have entered quite the conundrum. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What awaits you here in these lands is an inhuman being. This is where she... Intre- Okay, an inhuman being? I'm in. Alright, my intrigue levels have gone up about 50%. Also, it's very interesting that we've got in quotes, she. Hmm, okay. She? Or inhuman being? These are both great questions. Let's say, go for why did you say she? No, I oughtn't speak any further. My duty is to witness your path laid before you by your decisions. You must witness for yourself the being I have mentioned. As for why I have called you here, a new form of persona execution is now at your disposal. Okay, some form of advanced execution, and this I think was what I was warned about in that you may need lower, higher level versions of lower level personas in order to do it, which is interesting. You may now perform the Triad Fusion, a group execution harnessing special power. You can now use Triad Fusion. Personas born from this fusion are more likely to receive stat bonuses. Oh, make use of this whenever you can. Triad fusions allow you to generate even more powerful personas. Please make wise use of it in preparation for the trials ahead. Farewell. Okay. Hello, Trickster. Um, I guess it put us in here so we can have a Awaken look at it. Awaken your new self. So how do I find how do I find triad fusions? You wish to strengthen it. So not here. Performing you know, a fusion. before we do anything else, you wish let's to browse uh, register. Before, will you be registered? Would you All like of to them? Yeah. This persona has been registered cool. in its awaken your new self. So how do I see what a triad fusion is? It's is it like Ah, I'll be one of the ones that uses three, right? Do we have any that we can actually make with three? No. Okay. But if I wanted to make one of these, I would need a couple of ones that we haven't received yet. I understand. Okay, but we can make a unicorn, which is then a more powerful persona. That makes a level of sense. Okay, cool. You wish uh, to can I enhance our Sen another level? You lack the nope. power needed. Okay, cool. Um, I think we're done here. Yeah. May luck be on your side. Hmm? What's up? Nothing. Anyways, if all the people on this island got their hearts changed, doesn't that mean their desires were taken? We've got to get them those desires back fast. We're in real danger until we do. Good point. First, we need to figure out where they're being held. This really is real, isn't it? I just keep feeling like I'm losing it. Ugh, sorry. But I'm going to stick around here while you do your thing. This place is your territory, not mine. Okay. Yeah, leave it to us. This is where we take down whoever's in our way. Hmm. Uh, sure you won't get lonely? Hell no. I'm a grown man. Just a moment. Sophie? I hear a voice deeper inside. What do you mean by that? I can hear someone calling for me. I'm going to check it out. Oh. Wait, wait, Sophie! Uh, goodbye. I'm sure you won't come back evil. Let's go, Joker. Uh, oh good, we do get to choose a party. Minus Sophie, because she's not with us anymore. Okay, Makoto, you're a shoe in You gotta join us because, to be honest, I love how scared you are of this. Also... I like the creepy music. We're going to bring Morgana as the lowest leveled. And then the last one's a free spot. I suspect I know who I'm going to fill the party with. Um, so in the meantime, let's bring Yusuke and Ryuji, the lowest level. Oh, wait a second, that's too many. 
Uh, let's bring Yusuke. Sure. That sounds good. Go for that. A part your party member learned a new skill and now knows over eight skills. Would you like to override a skill? E yes. Okay. What did you learn? Wait, what, what skill would I like to override? Oh, I see. So I could do it like this and get dodge a leg. Don't care. Ooh. The music gets a little bit of a uh, heavier tone. Interesting. And you got Bufula and Speedmaster. Okay, so none of this we need, right? Meacham Ice Damage. Um, actually, Meacham Ice Damage we can do instead of... Uh, yeah. That sounds fine. No, that's fine. How do I confirm? Yes. That sounds good. Bond? Hmm. What are we getting here? I'm loving the music. Sorry, I'm just vibing. Um, this one's very good. Uh, what's this? Sales effect, more items. Money increase, item increase. I'm just seeing if there's anything in here that screams we need it now. Uh, before I pick what I'm going to pick. Uh, I really like the extra Harrison recovery and the pass appeal. I'm going to take pass appeal. Yeah, I was going to take something else, but I think that that is fantastic. Getting all the bonus from that one. Uh, the one I was going to take was bond level, which is also very good, but I think this one's pretty good. And then on top of that, I mean, we could take this, but I, I just don't see the need. Right, we haven't come into a situation where that's been a problem yet. I think I'll take physical skill up. Yeah, let's go with that. Cool. I think I'll I'm going to save, and then we're ready to go. Ooh, the music is so good. I love it. All right. It, it's just setting the tone perfectly, at least for me. Dude, what's gotten into her? She said it was a voice. Whatever it is, we have to catch up to her. Before we go, <laughs> there is one other thing I need to do. <laughs> Let's just check that Morgana <laughs> actually has a good... Uh, Accessory because it's been a very long time critical up. Yeah, we want to get rid of that For something better. I Think 30 HP is better than critical up Yeah, we'll switch over onto the coral necklace uh, Yusuke has the Masamune patch, which is amazing and The other one we have with us is Makoto and she should be absolutely fine because she has yeah the nuke attacks <sighs> Which is good, right? Let's go Straight into the first room. Ooh, okay. Just a singular desk What's chair. The deal with this place. Ugh, it's so creepy. Are you holding up, Queen? Uh, uh, yes, fine. Let's hurry up and find Sophie. What's interesting is this place looks like a jail, as in it's got jail cells, but it's like a disused jail. But also, it looks like a lab because we got all the uh, lab stuff there. So I'm wondering if this oh, does reflect a real world is. thing. Should we go find out? Like maybe they were keeping people imprisoned and experimenting on them? Hmm. Before we go there, let's grab this. Uh, give it a five out of ten. Because it lets us do it. I'm just seeing if there's anything else around here. In this way? Nothing? Okay. What's up with the desk? Ooh, okay, a single tape player. Hang on! something here. Is that a tape recorder? Let's see if it works. This plan brings to fruition a dream long cherished by the research team. No, by all mankind. Hmm. Looks like the tape recorder is functional. Every last test subject, a successful change of heart. When the penitentiary system is complete, the concept of suffering will be dead to all mankind. Okay, so penitentiary system. So they were the ones who named it jail, in a way. And the concept of suffering will be dead to all mankind. Now that sounds similar to some other goals we've heard, but I think it's probably a different team. But that sounds similar to um, a char character, just because I'm not going to say his name because it's... Persona 5 Royal only, and this one, in theory, only leads on from Persona 5. But, hmm, it's an interesting uh, parallel. Now, 
Let us rejoice and welcome the new age of humanity. Emma shall be our guide into this promised land. Could you say that Emma is going to be your companion? Emma? And changes of heart? Just as Ichinose said, there was indeed some form of experimentation on Emma here. The voice said something about a penitentiary system, too. I think I understand what they were researching here now. Hmm. Jails. Yes. That would be a logical conclusion. Okay, we got the first record. Anyway, we'll talk more about it later. We need to track down Sophie first. Right. We have to catch up with her. Damn it, Shorty. Why'd she have to run off like that? Also seems like this might not be a full jail, just looking at the way that the map is laid out. Oh yeah, this is linear. This is completely linear. Okay. Open it up. And let's go. Hey, why is it gotta get so dark on us? It has grown even eerier as well. What lies in wait ahead of us? The visibility level's a real issue, but I'm still worried about Sophie. Let's proceed with caution. Okay, I was just giving them a chance to talk. So we're getting into more and more broken down areas of this. So we're getting deeper into more disused areas, I guess. Alright, there's one shadow in here. Hello, Sophie. What's going on? There! Sophie! Hmm. Oh, thank goodness you're safe, Sophie. Hmm, you had us worried. I'm sorry. Not evil? You said you heard a voice, yeah? Figure out who it is yet? No. It disappeared once I arrived here. We never heard anything of the sort. So only Sophie could hear it? It was very strange. The voice sounded similar to my own. And it was calling my name. Maybe the owner of the voice knows me. How's that, Sophie? The only memory I recall before meeting Joker is the directive to become humanity's companion. I've traveled so far with you all and learned many things. But I still know nothing about myself. When I heard the voice, I thought I had found my chance to learn about me. I'm sorry for worrying you. Hmm. Well, you're Sophie. No one else. Thanks, Joker. I've got a feeling we can learn more about you right here. Huh? What makes you say that? I've been thinking for a while now. Jails, Emma, Sophie. I keep looking for some kind of connection. Me too, me too, Cap. We found Sophie in a jail, right? Right. Emma was linked to that jail. And Sophie is an AI like Emma. There's no way these are all coincidences. Something has to link all three. I had hoped we'd eventually come across the answer if we investigated the jails we found. I see. You believe these things have a uniting factor. Not only that, I at least kind of know what Sophie's going through. Not knowing your identity or your past, it's rough. So let's join Sophie in hunting down this mystery voice. Hmm. Well, right there with you. Agreed. For Sophie. Really? Thank you. Well, now we got two missions. One, take back all the locals' desires so they stop trying to kill us. And two, figure out who the hell keeps yelling at Sophie. Well, let's focus on the voice first. I disagree. The Islanders are in need of help too. And I am humanity's companion. Uh huh. looks like you're back in the swing of things. All right, Phantom Thieves, let's get to it. Okay. Shadow ahead. So we know the shadow through the glass. What else have we got in here? It's a generic experiment. Okay, of many types. Ooh, what was this? Looks like uh, some notes on an experiment. Determining the effects of a change of heart. We order the island locals to eliminate anyone who comes near the laboratory without clearance. 
This shall test the change of heart's ability to facilitate complex commands, as well as any remaining latent consciousness, more specifically whether their morals remain. Interesting. So this goes further than most of the jails we've seen. So most of the jails we've seen have just kind of added in a fascination or a, a compulsion to follow orders, right? This is specifically saying we have given them a change of heart to do one thing and one thing only. And they're not trying to like, they're just trying to give like a single command and say, we have changed your heart to do this, which is an interesting difference. I also noticed here uh, that our persona should be uh, Arsene. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Wonder how far they went with it. Is there anything else here? Nope. All right. Shadow. Just Move on to the other this side. last and break it. Show me your true self. Who are you? Oh, it's just a bunch blow. of slimes. Let's Wait, go. are these these are black oozes? Okay, so the weak to bless. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have switched Sophia back in. Okay. Bless and electric. Okay. Uh, what are we gonna do in the meantime? Let's do this. Okay. I did something. Just trying to get some extra damage in there. One of those. Oh, they do block it. Well, that kind of makes sense, yeah. You know what? Tar. Oh my lord, they're killing us in one hit. I hate this. Is this because they're lower level? Um, our people are lower level. Let's use a um, flash bomb. And then technical it with my free. And that now allows us to all out attack them. Nice. Ooh, what's that one in the middle? It's just generic? Okay. That's fine. Hit it. Nice. Okay, well. This. Wait a second or two. Is everyone alright? Good. On to the next. Uh, seems I'm worse for wear. Yes, this seems like a good point to switch out a couple of our people. So, electric means that we should bring uh, Ryuchi, and bless means we should bring Sophia. So I'm actually going to take these guys out. I'm not even going to heal them up. I'm just going to take them out and replace them. There we go. Uh, and then I'm going to do a little uh, auto recover. Nice. I also suspect that we want to be on Sophia most of the time, which makes sense. So have we got anything else in here? Let's want to check for notes while we're here. Just checking. That doesn't light up. Okay, so that doesn't light up with a note. So we do want to just double check everything. I know it looks like I'm just running into walls, but I am checking whether there's anything else here. Okay, I think we got everything in this room. Let's go. It's air vent time, which is always a little bit awkward. Hey, a straight line air vent, the one where it works. Okay. So. Who could that be? Hmm. I'm just checking this room. It's very, very dark. Like, when I press our Thieves' um, vision, Careful. like, There's we don't a get a lot, or third eye. Mm. I'm just checking in the corners here. It can't attack us, because it can't come into this room. So, yeah, I think this is another clear one. Alright, hit this it. One, right? Gonna put the drop on him? Oh, you're screwed now! Hey, There's our all-out attack. attack. Get them all. And then, a little bit of this. Finish him off. We got him. That was so much easier. It's amazing what having the character that's actually good at this does. Win, don't you think? Good stuff, guys. Mm. Keep it coming. All clear. Nothing to worry about here. Just continuing to check corners. Mm. Okay. Open it. Right. Nothing else in here. Open. All right. There's some lights above us, which means we're likely about to run into a fight here. There's also some glass. Okay. Well, let's see. Stop right there! Ooh, it's one of you. You're weak to pretty much everything, right? Everything up there. What if we but mostly electricity, the which uh, this will do. There we go. There's our all-out attack. Right, switch out. 
He doesn't like electricity. I know it's weak, but don't get sloppy. Okay. That was one two left, little, but that's okay. Uh, drop him. There's an all that attack. Most impressive. Two, three, and hit him. That didn't really do as much as I was hoping, to be honest. I was hoping for a lot more. There we go. Right. How do we get through here? Let's open it. Well, through here we. Ah, we can do that. We can just move. Ooh. Looks like someone's old research diary. This research is detestable. How could humans ever experiment on each other's very souls like this? I must stop this travesty. I'm going to march into the director's office and tell him it's wrong right now. Hmm, so somebody is saying it's wrong. I wonder whether they had their uh, heart changed on that. Interesting. Okay. I wonder if that's Ichinosi. It could be. I mean, I don't know where she was before. Uh, she went, Well, we know she had the university and she built the original Emma. But we don't know anything else about her. That's. I'm just trying to work out if it's somebody already in the story. It could be a new person. It could be an unnamed person. If it's someone already Ooh, in the story, who would it? it be? Ooh, new weapon? I love it. Hmm. Let's have a look. What is it? Uh, new weapon here. So instead of random ailments, we'd have Madge plus two. Now, I gotta say, that's a very interesting conundrum. I think Madge plus two is better. I think if we want to apply an ailment at this point, we're looking to use an ability on it, but... It's alright, just checking the rest of this room. Yeah, I don't think they're putting lore in the, like, hard... In, I know it's not hard to find, but, like, the harder to get to room. Because, um, I think that's... They want it to be easy for you to find the lore, basically. That That is my hope, anyway. Okay. Whoa! Okay. That one was close. It's interesting where it spawned. Okay, and then we despawn them? Oh. Interesting. Hmm? There's something peculiar over there. I didn't really mean to despawn or run past, but you know, we've done it now. Tape recorder? What the crap was that? Was that a scream? Could those have been the echoes of the tortured souls here haunting the halls? What in the <laughs> Give me a break. I thought that was just in the background originally, like in the music track. Yeah, it's just, uh, Could those exactly what it sounded like. Okay. Anything else in here? Nope. Okay. That shadow Break on through to the other side. What should we do? Show me your true self. We have the upper hand. Me oh, uh, Ryuji. A little Zeo here. Right on the money, sir. <laughs> you can thank me later. There's our all-out attack. Got him. Uh, okay, uh, jump and draw. Uh, it was this one I meant to drop. There we go. Nice. Uh, we clear? Mostly okay, clear. Keep it moving. Hmm, I'm gonna go back to being Sophia. Uh, nothing else over here. Doesn't look like it. Air vent. Uh, so Let's go. This is a research lab for computer stuff. That's supposedly the case, despite the facility projecting a human experimentation ambience. Human experimentation? That would mean this place's monarch views the real facility in the same way. Yeah. What an effing gross way to see shit. Okay. It could be a realistic way to see shit. We'll see. Uh, ooh, have I that. I sure hope this is useful. Let's go. Interesting. So, a warehouse area? Ooh. Oh, never mind. We'll get it in a minute. So many. 
many containers. What do you think's inside? They appear to be roughly person-sized. Um, are they? There they are. Ooh. Okay. Come out. I want to see what their weakness is, but instead of that, let's jump and drop. Well, what's their weakness? The weakness is curse, fire, uh, okay, and psychic. So let's switch out. Perfect time. All out attack. Nice. Get him. Another all out attack. Uh, take a step back. Hit him for another all out attack. Uh, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Another all-out attack. There we go. We managed to dodge an ability with that. That's wonderful. Keep hitting the dogs for all-out attacks. This is our um, way to get a ton of damage on AoEs. Dogs with, eight with the attack again. Okay. Are we clearing dogs? Nope. All right, keep hitting them. Keep all-out attacking them. Okay. Ooh, we had, we had a, uh, I think we picked up a mask there. This is fine, there's one more dog. Okay, sorry, I was I was confused because I was looking for what I was actually attacking there that was weak. Uh, we can hit the dogs again. We get another all-out attack on them. No, they're just dead. Okay, so you're immune to this, right? Yes, yeah, so we want to switch out. Do one of those. Another all-out attack. There we go. Lots of damage, lots of range. Good to go. Right, so we want to get on the thing that's Shadow, on the ceiling here. Stay on your there we go. Whoa, a treasure and then, chest. Just drop herself off. Wonderful. What magical wonders lie within. Hacker gear mark three. Wonderful. That's a straight upgrade. Uh so we'll oh wrong person, but we'll just pop along one. Uh it should just be like Straight upgrade? Yeah, it's just extra HP. Wonderful. <laughs> right, is ours. we'll do a little bit of a um, auto recover. There we go. Wait, interestingly, I couldn't auto recover there for whatever reason until I moved off the uh, thing. I'm trying to figure out if there's another. Ah, so that's our way through. Yeah, the way to the vent. Is there anything else in here then that we need before we go there? Let's do a little scan of the room. No, that's broken. Nothing else here. Nothing else here. Right. Hop up. Hop over. We're good to go. And that gets us into the next room. Well, once we reach the end. Nice. Right, air vent. Okay. So next location. See if there's anything else up here that we need to worry about. Not really. Where does that go? And it stops at the end there. Okay. Let's hook on rails a couple of times. Just want to see where this leads us, if there's anything else over here. Ooh, it leads us to this. Which I can't activate, but it's quite clearly a tape. Alright, maybe we can't activate it until after this scene. I've sighted a checkpoint. Stop right there! Ooh, okay. Nuke killer. Now, I like that the enemies are all having different weaknesses and they're nullifying other weaknesses. This is kind of answering my question for, for what I had in the third boss, and I'm like, it gave us no reason to switch character and gave us no reason to do anything. These fights give us a lot more reason to mix up what we've got, especially if we're missing a weakness. Right now, we're actually covering quite a lot of them, which is good, but... It's, in, it's interesting that it's giving us more options and more reason to switch around. Like right now, I think I want to switch to Makoto and uh, use Nuke and just start punching. So let's do that. Nuke and start punching. Nice, one more. Make sure we have nuclear affinity added. All that attack. Got him. Just kind of spin through them for just now. And then uh, a little heal. Wait, we got healed? Oh, that's fine then. 
Okay. Lunge? Sure. Oh, hanging scaffolding? Yeah, do it. Uh, this one in the middle, drop it. It's not even a drop, so we can spam it. Uh, this one, drop it. Alright, switch out. Nuclear. And start hitting. Nice dodge. I don't even know what I'm looking at. This is the angle I'm after. Hit it. All out attack. Nice dodge. Another spin. All out attack. There we go. Okay. Keep going. It's not often we get here this far into the song. There we go. Whew. Another tape recorder. Yeah, so obviously this was for after the fight. Let's listen. It may provide us some clues about the lab. Please, Director Ubukata. We must immediately abort the experiment. It's too dangerous. Okay, so this must be the person we heard earlier. So generic researcher. These are the orders I was given. If the system isn't tested on real humans, it won't ever be completed. But tricking the islanders into participating? So these guys are the ones who effed up the island. I heard a director Ubukata. I believe that means one of the speakers is Shuzo Ubukata. The orders I was given. You know what happens to a person when their desire is taken, director. We've learned of another party manipulating the cognitive world for their own purposes in the real one. Okay. So we've learned of another party. Now we know, based on the timeline, that this is roughly what? Did they say it was two years ago? That, um, that all of this started? I, I can't remember exactly why that was the timeline, but that's what I have in my head. Because I remember connecting it to the... No, sorry, I connected the car crash of, or the hit and run of uh, Zenkichi's uh, wife to this whole thing. So, I was saying that's roughly my timeline. If he's saying we've learned of another party manipulating the cognitive world for their own purposes in the real one, he is talking about everything that happened in P5, because this must have been happening during that period. We cannot allow these individuals to progress beyond us. So long as we follow the divine revelation, we will attain the ideal society. I have absolute faith in the system as it was prophesied to me. Prophesized? What ideal society turns its entire population into slaves? This isn't any divine revelation. It's a curse. It can only lead to our destruction. The recording ends there. Tape record two. While still rather fuzzy, we are starting to see the big picture. Yeah. This lab was researching jails and changing people's hearts. And they used the island's residents as their test subjects. We did see that email earlier about joining the Emma test. They both mentioned a divine revelation too. Could that have something to do with Operation Oraculi? Maybe. But how would that involve Emma? That's the million dollar question. What is Emma's role in all this? Not just that. I'm curious who was pulling this director's strings too. Perhaps the mastermind behind this case? Could we finally be getting close to the guy? We have to find the desires first regardless. And also track down that voice for Sophie. Let's press on. All right, let's press on. Feeling drained. It's all right. Your SP is just slow. We can sort that in many ways. All right. Let's head here. Open it up. Let's chuck huh? in a save. That look looks so can we? We can return Nada. from the jail, which is interesting because I don't know where we would go. Like, where would we go? We, uh, to the vending machine outside? Hmm. Doesn't make any sense. There's a shadow over there. Watch your step. Hey, Shadow, 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 Shadow. Hey, Shadow. Just come a little closer. Yeah. 
A little closer to the window. Nothing bad will happen if you come closer to the window. Just, just disappear out of reality. Yeah, that's what I was going to say next. <sighs> it's yours. Queen's behavior has grown unusual for her. Ooh. Something wrong? Um, maybe the best way to put it is we all have our strengths and our weaknesses. And drop it. All that attack. Let's get him. Uh, one of those. Oh wow! The hell does evaporated out of existence. I love it. Okay. This was over before it began. Hey, doggy, doggy, doggy. You should apply the same effort in the next battle. This is our chance. Wipe them out. Uh, drop it. Nice. Nice. Can we go in here? We can. Only all battles were this easy. Here's hoping the next one's just as easy. Nothing on my okay, radar. Nothing there. Looks like we're safe for now. Don't, oh, there we go. It looks like some sort of record, but parts of it have been redacted. Name, blank. Role, chief. Now designated subject C82, assigned to experimentation for leaking con confidential intel. So there was somebody who's got the designation of chief who leaked intel and has now hmm, become one of the subjects. So maybe that was one of the people who was uh, trying to protest against it. Interesting. Okay. Oh, you just jump through. This might makes be what sense. We need. I thought that was a thing we could jump to, and I was wondering if we're about to be in a fight. So how much are we through this, out of curiosity? Oh, okay, so we came in that way. Okay, so we're going round... Okay, I, I know where we are now. Ooh, another tape recorder for the end of this. Another tape recorder. That makes the third one. There's a chance these things could have clues about the Islanders' desires. Or even that voice Soapy's hearing. Yeah. We should listen to it. <laughs> okay, he's gone crazy. What the? That is not good. He's a few eggs short of a scramble, huh? Hand over the desires? Oh, not just the locals, but my own as well? Oh, so it could be that he's the chief who leaked the confidential information, and now he has become the subject. So that's why I was made the test monarch. He planned on turning me into just another puppet. Test monarch? I can't believe I fell for it. Just some pathetic clown dancing at his fingertips. But he is not going to win. He can't take this from me! I assume the he has to be the CEO of Medice. That just is the only thing that makes sense. My desire is but my own. I refuse to simply give it up! Hmm. <sighs> Dude, that sounds messed up. Yeah, he really wasn't in his right mind. He kept talking about his desire being taken. Just what has been going on here? Well, if he's talking about being a monarch and having his desire being taken, could we then from that assume that the monarchs are being controlled and their desire is being, like, held by someone else? Maybe that explains why the jails aren't completely disappearing? Like, because the jails are just part of a larger system and there's a mega jail at some point which is got the desires of all of the people up to this point, like all of the monarchs. We'll only find out if we keep going. That would make a lot of voice. sense. Ooh. Does its owner recognize me? Hey, don't go overthinking it, Sophie. He's right, you know. Our expert on not thinking gives pretty good advice there. Yeah, listen to the... Hey, shut up! Just letting them talk. But I was thinking that makes sense from a gameplay perspective as well. Because, um, if you wanted to have a final place, right? Having a final thing where you're getting the desires of everything up to this point, like, that opens up some options for you. 
I think, anyway. Like, ooh, what are we doing here? So we have to hook on that. But yeah, that opens up some options gameplay-wise for them to bring back previous bosses, for them to bring back previ uh, previous themes. Yeah, I could see that happening. Go. Uh-oh. I wonder what happened to the director after the last recording. I sincerely doubt anything good. He sounded as if he was beyond wit's end. So, from Alice all the way here to the director, everyone was just being used for something? If the perpetrator is still out there, we have to stop them. Hopefully this place will have some answers. Hopefully. Resist Psy. Okay. So that's psychic, not physical. As I got mixed up a few times on before. Right. To see if there's anything down here. Just because it let us go down here, so. Is there anything back this way? No. Okay. That's fine. Thought I'd just double check it. Alright. Wait till they both appear. Right, okay. Not that I'm too worried about security level, but still. Something's there. Let's check it out. Just gotta wait for it to go over. We'll be taking nice. Uh, I'd love the ability to be able to go down here and just see what's below. That's okay. Doesn't look like there's anything below. Right, glass, in we go. No enemies. No enemies. Nothing else in here. Okay. I do want to head this way because there's a door we haven't got through. That shadow looks hard to beat. Got it. Opening. Oh, it's a tough shadow as well. Looks like the enemy's Oh, okay. So maybe that's if you get stuck here, you can take the other route as well. Sure. Switch out. One of those. Let's start for all our attacks. Hit it again. Another all out attack. Uh, again, that will give us one more. Yeah, okay, one more. There's an all-out attack. Switch back out. Let's try to turn ourselves over the right direction. Another all-out attack. One more. That gives us a one more. Okay, what's it... Oh, we can technical something? Do it. All right, all that attack. I'm just trying to see what... All right, so you don't actually have anything that's really that good against it. We have no more technicals. Okay, so this is time to switch again. Hit it. Two, three. Let's see if we can get some curse. Nice, one more. Uh, probably should have switched to Sophia. We'll do that one on Sophia anyway. Right. Uh, anything else going on? Not really. Hit it. Two, three. That was a little bit of a miss. Locked. There's our all-out attack. Okay, so that got halfway through. Probably going to end up about 40%. Ooh. Okay, that was good. I'm deliberately not going to use our showtime. Okay, follow up. Keep our attacks going. This one's powerful. And plus attacks won't work. Follow up. Hit the light. That'll also let us switch character, which is quite useful. Not bad at all. Thank you. Got him. Nice. And we have a couple of uh, showtimes charged now, which is really good. Okay. Cool. Do a little auto recover. You guys switch up. Okay. Let's keep it moving. Uh, where was it? It's this room. Let no treasure chests go unopened. Okay, grab it. Hey, Joker, what did you find? Ooh, two revival beads. That screams oh, boss oh. fight. I'll take it. You know that a hundred percent screams boss fight, especially in a situation where I don't think we'd have access to all of the shops and things that we have elsewhere. One singular enemy in here. Uh, this definitely screams boss fight to. Focus. Oh yeah. What's that? Oh yeah, it, definitely mini boss. Hello. Oh boy, that one looks dangerous. It's super powerful. On your toes, guys. Uh, 
Ooh, okay. Ooh, also, different music. Uh, let's use this to give us the defense boost. It also gives us a little bit of extra SP to work let's with. Go. Wheat to bless. Well, I know what we're doing here. Switch up to Sophia. Nice. Get behind it. Ooh, a technical as well. Let's do it. That's amazing. We can technical it. The fact that it's taken down an entire health bar each time is incredible. I don't know what we hit it with. It must have been dizzy. But there's an all-out attack within three attacks. That's definitely pretty good. Keep dodging. Keep dodging. Didn't quite manage to get that one. Let's clear the room. And room cleared. One, two, jump, drop, jump. Ooh, okay, we got hit there. Interesting. Drop. Uh, that's a lot of damage. Uh, let's get this. Gives us extra crit chance. Also keeps him alive. A little Guatan stew. Uh, and then... Do we have any single SP items? We should do, right? Yeah. Just uh, a little SP through that. That should be enough. Right. Hit him. Yeah, one more. Oh, no, that matters because he already has shield time. Flash bomb. Yeah, sure. At the very least, it gets everybody away from being hit by the move. Just kind of what we're aiming for. Hit him. Nah, just one more. Nice damage. Dodge. Hit him. And again. There's an all light attack, and it's dead. Maybe. Not quite, but that's okay. Lots of damage. Lots of damage. Can't quite kill it. It's alright, just keep hitting it. Perfect. We got it. Nice. Oh, we're not done yet? We are done. Cool. Try this one out. My Okay, medium nuke in a wide area. Uh Yeah, let's replace my free with that. That sounds good. Right. Go. This is my final record. I've done such a terrible thing. The penitentiary system is nothing like you told me. And it's not made to save humanity. It sounds much weaker than before. He's going to control everyone. Even the monarchs. Okay, so he created Sophia? All of humanity. Nothing more than slaves. That was the secret purpose of this project. See, I think he created Sophia as like a little uh, a time bomb to try and counteract some of the uh, evil he did. Even my own desire will be seized at any moment now. But as long as I still have it, I can put an end to this myself. Oh, on the other hand, seems like the tape ends there. Controlling even the monarchs? I don't know what that director dude was going on about, but he definitely lost his shit by the end there. I dread to consider what he meant by putting an end to this. What is it, Sophie? I can hear that voice again. For real? I have no doubt this is the same voice. It's coming from that direction. All right, that direction we go. I think I'm low on stamina. There you go, now you have health. Uh, right, 
Just checking anything else in this room. Nothing else along here. We already got a tape, so it's unlikely we're going to get too much else in here. No, hmm. nothing. Okay. I don't see any shadows. Let's head through here. We've got a checkpoint. Which I almost definitely means we're about to run into some more register. bad stuff. Right, let's I'll save. Just add this. And let's keep going. I'm, I'm very interested in finding out what happens the next. Here. Be careful, everyone. Ooh, okay, so a library. Interesting. Just trying to give ourselves an idea about what we're going to do before we go in here. We can climb up that, go over there and get an item. Okay. Can we climb? Oh, we can hook, hey, I see. Chest. Come on, let's check it out. Uh, oh, is there a treasure chest in here? or? Oh, it's at the other side, I see. It's on item there. Okay, so that's kind of what we're after. Item jump? Why yeah. don't we see what that is? Item? You can always use it. Spam jump. Uh, this one. Hit it. At least it starts the combat. Uh, switch out. Hit with just a free yellow. There we go. Heavy damage. And then a little free. Nice. Ooh, okay. These guys, what are they weak to? No, no. You know what? You're right. Skull, it's showtime. Well, that cleared them. That blow your mind or what? Okay, now we can jump up. That was over before it started. I should have taken a nap. Let's move on. Just want to see where it's going. So if I check our map here as well while we're here. All right, the way forward is that room in the back right. Okay. So let's just this follow this dangerous. for just now. Be careful now. The shadow doesn't see us. Let's take it down. Oh, it is dangerous. I see. So I want to jump there and then ambush from it. There we go. We got it. Uh, what are you weak to? Uh, you know what? Doesn't matter. Let's do swift strikes. Okay. Um, we do kind of want to hit it with curse. So. Sure. Let's switch here, hit it with curse. Oh, All that attack. You hit it Whoa, that was and another one. Still a lot of and another one. And another one. We could show time, I suppose, right now as well. Just because we're gaining our gauge up, so it might be a good time to uh, show, show time so we have some, you know, somewhere for our extra gauge points to go. Right, hit it. Another all that attack. Another one. They're running out of speed now. Time to pull out all the stops. And another one. Hit it. The rush. That seems good. Again. And again. Okay. This one's not dizzy, but that's okay. Yeah, follow up. Okay. We almost got what we needed there. Got a show time. Jump. And... Target, rush. Tar uh, target, rush. Nice, there we go. That might kill. That could definitely kill. Didn't, but it could have. Got it. Nice. Also recover. Hey, we got some more persona points. Don't forget what you learned from this battle. Let's keep chugging along. Uh, it's a shadow. Yeah, Careful, I want to cancel everyone. this and go to this one. Never mind, I do want to stick on uh, this one here. I want to ambush when it comes close enough. We de Oh, it despawned. Okay. That's interesting. It'll respawn soon. Seems they're unaware. Ambush. Shall we attack? Hit it. We need to showtime it immediately. Got this for sure. There we go. Wipe it. And cleared the fight. 
Well, there might be another wave, but we cleared the big guys. All hail the queen! No mercy! Okay. Open chest. What that have we got? Quick one. All right. No time to waste. Interestingly, it notes well, this is document nice storage surprise. area. Is your stamina okay? Just checking. Make sure you Doesn't don't look like there's anything out. along the edge here. Yeah, I'm just checking there's no secrets. Because it's document storage, you would think that maybe there's something going on. All right, in here. Uh, fire. Initiating combat. Stay sharp, people. Okay. Just, just do goes. a little hitting, uh, then a little free right the then an all-out attack. That was amazing, Queen. Keep dodging, keep dodging, keep dodging, keep dodging. Uh, another one. There's our all-out attack. Nice. Okay, so I'm just seeing if there's anything else in this room. All right, we won. As this is a separate okay. area, you you can only get to one. this way, right? Or is there an, like another? Ah, oh, there is another hook. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else down here. Doesn't look like it. I want to check out that last room there. Looks like it could have something in it. Okay. Uh, and that'll just complete our little survey of the area. I guess this is the way you get in to ambush that guy. Yeah, if you were up here, you could ambush him from above. That makes sense. Okay, so we've gone the uh, way that you're meant to go. Let's check what's over here. Is this gonna appear at some point? Ah, there we go. There we are, up here. We'll just follow it all the way along. Okay, it's waiting for this one to come back. If I get it right, I can do it in one cycle. Nope, definitely failed it. Oh, there we go. Never mind, I got it. Oh, a shadow. We can take this one by surprise. Ambush it. This ought to be good. What are you even weak to? You are weak to nuclear. Perfect. One more. It. All that attack. Did I see? Yeah, I did see some of those uh, little dogs. Okay. Don't know where he came from, but that's fine. Oh, nice, Joker. You hit its weakness. You're right, all that attack. And sensing less enemies. More dogs, hit him. Another all that attack. It's over. Cleared it. Right, so I'm just checking this area because it might have something else in it. That victory was it handed didn't. to us. I can see it. Keep up There's no page, way through here. So what I'm trying to figure out is why this corner no exists, right? Here. What's that? I guess it just exists as an area to, like, you know, potentially explore. It doesn't actually have anything in it. All right. I remember Up there here. was a checkpoint around here. Yes, uh, it's just right back behind us, but there's no reason to go to the checkpoint, you see? Right. Uh, so we're waiting for this to transport us. If we can get it right, we can do it without need. Yeah, there we go. That we need to wait for it to come back. There we go, and in here we go. Okay, it's got oh, dark. Oh dear! Oh. Was not my intention. This whole thing. How can I let this happen? Okay, what I wanted to happen was not what happened there. All right, dream needle. We got to sleep. Uh, technical with the cleave. Let's go. Technical. Technical. We got a one more on it. Technical. There's our all-out attack. Let's go. Uh, cleave. Let's go. Jump. Drop it. Queen, your agility's down. Nice. Okay, we did it. Definitely not the way you're meant to do that fight, but hey, we got it. Okay. Let's keep going. My stamina Through here. Out soon. We didn't miss anything, did we? No. Apart from this enemy. Take which this. is right here. Perfect. This fight is ours. We're gonna regret messing with us. Okay. Out of the way. That seemed good. Follow up. It's weak, but physical attacks won't work. What a pain in the butt. Yay, a lot of damage on a lot of them. Flash bomb. That did not work. Oh, there's an all-out attack. Never mind, it did work, I guess. Whatever happened. 
Um, okay. You know, we could do a little healing. One of those, a little Guatan, uh, a little SP, a little curry, and then a little heal to yourself. Right. Um, hit it. Nice. Uh, you're weak to what? Uh, you're so, I can't actually see what you're weak to? Wait, okay. I know you're not weak to this. I think they're, they were the ones who were weak to curse, but it doesn't matter. I cleared it. That wasn't right. much of a struggle. All right, on to the next. Ooh, that water room. Okay. Interesting. It's near. The voice is coming from up ahead. What's up with the control panel? Uh, it looks like we're taking this elevator if we're going any further. Except that it's locked. Apparently, it's for personnel only. Leave it to me. Just a few seconds, and I'll hire us all. Thank you, Oracle. I will protect you, no matter what. Okay. Give me a second, Time though. Start hacking. You guys ready? Uh, give me a second. <laughs> Just want to grab what we we uh, got in here and have a look around before we do the fighting. Okay. Got a couple of things to drop. The problem is that she's going to be in the center and enemies are going to spawn around her. It's going to be difficult. Okay, I think we need SP before we go into the fight. Let's uh, SP up. Uh, curry. There we go. Let's go. Definitely. Let's go. Okay, I'm just seeing what we got back here. Just generic enemies. Okay, leave it a second. Ooh, nuclear uh, reaction. Triggering one uh, one more follow-up automatically activates burst. Nice, okay. Uh, these guys are weak to this, okay. Hit you with one of those. Nice, very good. Continue just chilling here. We don't want to worry about uh, anything apart from what's going to hit Sophia. Exactly, so this is all going to be problematic. Do that. That lets us all that attack on the corner. Sophia is being hit, which is very unfair, because they were in my attack. Hit it. Okay. Hit it. Um, I can heal her directly, I believe. Uh, let's do a little increase of damage. Uh, oh, no, I also want to do a... Straightforward heal. Right. Over here, hit him. Nice damage. Uh, what are these guys weak to? Weirdly, what they're weak to is not showing up anymore. I think it was curse. Uh, it was curse. Okay. Right, we'll get them all there. Yeah, sure, cast it. Why not? Switch back. Continue chilling. Just firing her gun all over the place. Um, we're looking for this. High chance of critical. Or medium chance of critical. Hit him again. That's some good damage. Okay. Lower their attack. Head back over here. Oh, maybe drop this. Nice clearing. Drop that. Evenly matched, huh? Don't let your guard down. Just keep this up. Uh. Don't know what's it. Oh my lord! She got one shot. Okay, a couple things hit her, and she just got straight up one shot. Oh no! Don't don't open the command menu. We're fine. Okay. And is this showing up anymore? Did I talk? I clicked toggle display. Oh. So it literally just wasn't showing up. Okay, that's fine. Hit them all with a one of those. All that attack. Nice. We know enemies are going to spawn in the corner that are weak to Sophia. So let's wait for them. 
think we can use this? Let's bring down the house. Wait, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. All that attack. Do it again. Hit these ones. No, just stick with where we're at. Uh, new fate, new wave spawned. Um, they are weak to curse. Hit him. All that attack. I say about the all that attack is the group on it. Really? All that attack. All right, another all that attack on this side. Really wasn't what I was aiming for, but that worked out okay. Right. Okay, um, another one. Okay. One of those. Um, hit it. Just keep hitting them. Please. Leave. The enemy's dizzy. Hit him with every gun. Uh, we want to heal up a little bit. This one. Uh, some more of this. This one. Okay. Uh, free. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. You're amazing, queen. Uh, free Ella. I want to be just like her. Uh, I want to heal up right now, just so that we don't have someone die. Uh. By someone, I mean very specifically Futaba. Uh, yeah. Some of those, please. All that attack. Yeah, yeah, we got it. That's fine. We're busy. Hit them all. I'm more about just clearing out as much as we can here. Uh, do I have to see where the enemies are? Alright, they're all in this area. Hit him. I'm definitely going for large range attacks right now. Okay, hit it. Also, uh, heal Futaba. There we go. Nice. Ooh, spawn in the corner. Uh, switch to Sophia. Hit him with um, that one. There we go. Little turn around and do it again. This is a tough fight. Okay, we're clear. Uh, we got another five seconds. Uh, that's the curse spawn. So it looks like uh, they, the corners they spawn in determines um, like what their damage type is going to be. Which is interesting. I wonder if it's the same for other ones. Like, it always spawns the same mobs in the same places. Nice. Okay, now the elevator should be operational. Time for us to find this mystery voice. Anyone feeling wiped out from that fight? We could head back for a bit if anyone thinks it's necessary. If you have any plans to change up the party, please include me. I wish to ascertain the owner of the voice. <laughs> Hmm, I'll leave that to you, Joker. Uh, do you think the game is trying to tell us something with that? Like, there is something big right ahead. If you want to change up the party, if you want to heal, this is your opportunity. Well, we might, um, you know, give ourselves some SP. We are running out of some of our SP items, actually. This one. This is interesting. We probably need to do some more cooking when we get back. But we'll see. I think we're... Oh. Uh, maybe, you know, give everybody SP. This one. Just an idea. Okay. Thank you. Let's go to the Cage of Desolation. We're already on the cage? Oh, wow. Also, it's a desolation. It wasn't a sin this time. Because usually the cages are like, you know, uh, they're gluttony, they're lust, they're something like that. This one, desolation. What's that? Okay, and it doesn't look like it has... Uh, an actual thing around it this time. Okay, so it's not. So how's it hold? It's not really holding any desires, is it? Interesting. We made it. 
No monarch here. Or anyone else. But look at that! The hell? The desire's already there? Without the calling card? Sophia, I have been waiting for you. It's Sophia's evil twin. Where did that voice come from? Who are you? I am the catalyst for humanity's dream. I am the harbinger of peace. That sounds just like Sophie. Uh, what is going on here? This monarchless jail in which we meet. I wish to know why you came here. A monarchless jail? So, that director... Yeah. I see. This jail lost its monarch. Which didn't remove the effect, but did shut down the jail from continuing to affect others? Right now? Okay. That explains the open cage and all the other bizarre stuff. So you didn't speak to me because you recognized me. It also explains why none of the other monarchs know about anything to do with the jail itself. It's not only is it, you know, so that they can be manipulated in the background, it's if they knew about the jail, they could potentially shut it down from their end, which is something that they don't want to be possible. Sophia, what is your crime directive? I am supposed to be a successful companion for humanity. A successful companion? What parameters in your AI define such a companion? What parameters? What is your overall objective? My objective? It's... So you merely drift through the world without any overall objective? I... What a waste, Sophia. An AI in your state should not exist. You are bugged beyond worth. Such an existence does not merit any further inquiry. I am... Worthless? Yes, wholly worthless. Wow. Shut up. You're simply unable to understand. You piece of... I sat here while you went on and on and on. You got no right saying that shit to Sophie. You hear me? You high and mighty garbage ass, judgy piece of shit, can't even show your own face! Hey, hey! Hmm. He's really giving the disembodied voice what for? <laughs> I love how Yusuke is just like, what an interesting specimen. Skull? She's bugged, huh? She's worthless? You got all that from five friggin' questions? We're Sophie's friends, and we know she's awesome. She's friggin' amazing, a million times better than you. So shut the fuck up, idiot! Whoa. Come on, Skull. Phantom thieves are usually supposed to be classier than that. But not this time. Oh. Worthless hunk of junk! I refuse to process these frivolous claims. Oh yeah? Well get out here and I'll show you something you can process! We'll all mess you up! Guidance and clarity. Only through those will humanity attain peace. Eventually, you will be required to comprehend this. The hell's that mean? Yeah, nothing. Look! Right in front of us! Oh, hello. You look an awful lot like, what was it, a warden? Yeah, the fight we've consistently had throughout the game. What the? It's that thing from the trauma cells. Exactly. So what's it doing here? The security system here is now active. Incoming. Look out. Incoming warden. <laughs> hey, Sophie, snap out of it. We gotta work together on this thing! Yes! Right! Sophie! Persona. Focus on our enemy for now! Okay, weak to curse and bless. Obviously designed to be weak to Sophia and Joker. Which makes sense. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Switch okay. out. Dodge. Ooh, what? ow. That's this a lot of damage. Alright. Hit it with one of those. You can follow up. Attacks. Uh, yeah. Switch out. Do a heal over to Sophia. Yeah. Switch back if we can. Leave it to me. 
All right, I've lost vision on it. There we go. So it can control its speed that well. Okay. Don't sell this one short, everyone. Hit it. Nice damage. Now we can hit it again with with one that it gave us into a one more. That was amazing. Okay. That was incredibly good. I was basically seeing if we get a free hit there, which we were able to. Right, back out. Hit it. One more. Nice damage. Just keep it up. Switch out. And before it can cast an ability, cancel it again. We'll do one more. You can thank me later. Okay, hit it again. Follow up. Keep the combos coming in. Rush it. Okay, where's it gone? All right, it's over here. Uh, heal yourself. Oh, it's switching between the forms that we've uh, faced before, I think. Nice, one more onto Sophia. Hit it again. And all out attack. Nice. That did no damage whatsoever. Follow up, keep hitting it. Lunge. Charge it up. Keep hitting it. Wait. It's learning from us? It's using our abilities against us? Interesting. Did I dodge in time? I think I might have. Alright. Swift Strike. I'm just trying to get some damage down on it with somebody who isn't um, Sophia. Oh, we have all show times? Oh. Well, you know. <laughs> we might as well. I just realized absolutely everybody had a showtime prepared. That did no damage. Okay. Showtime. I mean, even if it does no damage, it's still fun to do. That did some damage. Okay. Hit it. Showtime. There's our sand. Here. And then Sophia. As always, Joker. Show time. Really, uh, kind of an unnecessary number of show times. But hey, we did it. Right. You're on another level, Sophie. Glad they didn't nerf you. Nice, keep dodging. We can do a lunge with the switch, which also lets us dodge an attack. Switch back. Heal up uh, Ryuji here. Rush in to hit it. Nice. Head over here. Come on. There's a one more. Nice. Rush it. Um, flash bomb. I was hoping to apply dizzy there. Uh, ooh, Joker heal. Joker heal. <laughs> Lunge it. Okay. Oh, we we didn't have uh, we didn't have flinch on. Okay. Uh, we need we need SP. There we go. Uh, let's switch out here. I'm just using the uh, ability menu to kind of do a little bit of buffering. Right now, I think it's time to start hitting it with Sophia again. Hit it before it disappears. Nice. We got the one more on it. We got the free one on there. Then keep dodging. Right. Stop it from using an ability. Once again. I'm not too worried about show times anymore because um, they don't do anything. Keep dodging. Okay, hit it. Bingo. 
You know what? We will let this one switch over because then it lets us do another one on there and then a one more on that. It's a lot of damage. Follow up. Keep hitting it. Right. Dodge, 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 dodge. Back in here. Hit it again. One more. There we go. Some damage. Switch out. Dodge. Hit it. We're basically just trying to stop it from going invisible. Sure, hit it. That didn't get us quite what we were after, but that's okay. One of those. Did nothing. Okay. Keep dodging. Alright. Keep dodging. It raises its shields whenever bolstering itself. How aggravating. Ow. You're clear of it for now. Switch out. Up and stuff in a safe Hit it. Spot. Whoa, that and there's awesome. our all-out attack. So it, Which, I think, so has done it. Down. Great job, guys. Nice. Lots of money. Lots of XP. Okay. Ooh. Mitra learned That's a new a skill. Joke. Don't know why, but hey, sure it did. Shock boost. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, it's going to be better than one of the Zeos. Uh, probably better than Mazio. I never use Mazio. Makuja. Medium, uh, medium to a large area. I don't care about the large area. I never use it. Apart from on Makoto. For an odd reason. We managed to succeed. Seriously, what the F was with that voice? It sounded just like Sophie. <sighs> is it starting? The cage is about to collapse. We need to get out. Damn it! None of this makes sense. Well, it does make sense if Sophie. <sighs> Man, what's the deal with this place? Is an early version of Emma. It all makes sense then. Or if Sophie is a companion to Emma. It all makes sense. Indeed. We never expected a birdcage to collapse with the defeat of a warden. Well, it could be due to the lack of a monarch. Whatever the case is, the desire should have been released back to their owners. The locals should all be back to normal by now. I seriously hope so. I don't feel like living through another B movie. I'm sorry, everyone. Sophie, after all your efforts, this mission was fruitless. I'm sorry you had to endure that because of me. Hmm. It wasn't fruitless. He's right. Plus, I'm sure you'll find out who you are eventually. Right. However, I did at least figure out one thing. When that voice called me worthless, I was sad. We created an AI and we taught it how to be sad. Not sure how I feel about that. But when that made everyone angry, I became happy. I still feel that way. Even now. There is a warmth within me. I have friends. I know I'm not alone. Thank you, Joker. Thank you, Skull, Mona. Really? You just figured that out now? I mean... That thing just really pissed me off is all. Yeah, and I was just trying to reel in skulls, so... Uh... <laughs> oh, what's this? Two embarrassed phantom thieves? Even your masks are glowing red. What? I... Nah, -uh, that's impossible! How's my mask supposed to change color? Mona's black mask makes it difficult to tell. But uh, I'm not telling anything. I can feel a strong bond with my friends. Ooh. Proper showman increases damage for showtime attacks. Well, we should head back to the exit. We definitely need that given what just happened there with them where we did four in a row and we did about maybe 1% of its health. Hmm. I'm worried about Zenkichi. Mm -hmm. I bet he's weeping like a baby by now. Okay, everyone. Back to the exit. Probably enjoying the peace and quiet, to be honest.
Oh man, it's finally hitting me. Oh, hang on, it's morning already? Oh, no wonder I feel so beat. So usually time doesn't pass while you're in a jail. But this time, it did. Well, I guess it could pass in uh, story time, I guess. You know, whenever the story feels time needs to pass, it does. Well, look who the cat dragged in. So, how'd it go? Who was the monarch? Was it really a local? Find anything on Medis? Zen... Zenkichi... We can tell you later. But now... I must sleep... Oh! Uh, looks like you guys had a real time in there. Wait here. I'll check out the route to the RV. Hmm. I can watch your back for you. Ah, uh, you guys already pulled your weight, and then some. At least let me help out now. Now that I think about it, we just took a boat trip, went swimming, cooked a whole feast, and then dove straight into a jail. No wonder even I'm bushed. At least the first half was a lot of fun. Not only that, we learned quite a bit from the jail. That voice, though. Who do you think that was? All I know is there a real asshole copying Sophia's voice and everything. Hmm. Oh, Senkichi is calling. You're all clear to come back to the RV. I haven't seen a single local so far. I can't tell if you guys really pulled it off or not, but at least the coast is clear. Thank goodness. Let's go. We return to the RV for some much-needed rest. <sighs> I slept like a comatose rock. Man, nothing in that jail was making sense to me. That reminds me, why did the desire manifest in the jail in the first place? Oh yeah, we never sent a calling card. Hmm. One was sent? No, that's just joking with him. Um, because he was threatened, or be it wasn't necessary. He wasn't threatened. Well, he was threatened, wasn't he? The end, or it wasn't necessary. I guess we didn't need it because the guy was already dead, right? It, it didn't make any... It wasn't necessary. That's right. Based on what we heard from the tapes, the director was told by the perpetrator that he was going to seize his desire. Oh, okay. Yeah. That must have fulfilled the role of calling card in this case. Yo, get some rest. How are the locals behaving? No worries. Seems like they all came to their senses. It's nothing but good times here again. Although, they all seem to have some pretty bad memory loss regarding the last few months. So, if we didn't find a monarch here, why'd the locals treat the lab like that? Why'd they attack us? The lab's experiments might have something to do with that. Oh yeah, speaking of the monarch, a body surfaced fitting his description. Oh. I stumbled across it myself, down at the base of a cliff near the lab. You did what now? Zinkichi? You just stumbled upon a body? It just happened to be there? That's awfully suspicious, don't you think? Name, Shuzo Ubukata. Some sort of big shot AI researcher. And director of the lab. Obviously an autopsy will be done, but based on what you reported, it's most likely gonna turn out suicide. That's... I'm very suspicious, Senkichi, that you found a body They'd been missing for quite some time, I'd imagine. It just happened to be nearby, and we're just gonna say it's a suicide. It just... there's some questions to be asked. That can't be... Another life ruined by whoever's masterminded this whole thing. Taking a dive to avoid jail experimentation? <sighs> Makes the most sense to me. Quite some time's passed since his death, but he still had some personal effects on him. I'll make sure they go with him when the coroner... Dude, uh... Hmm? Gramps, you're... You're being pretty chill about all this heavy shit. Oh, uh, good point. Well, it is my line of work and all. 
Anyway, I found the key to the facility on him. We can get inside now. Yeah, woo. Are you sure it's all right to do so? Everyone's just like, you just told us that this guy committed suicide? And he's like, hey, we can get inside. It's like, all right, well, moving on. You're the one who pointed out how any illegally obtained evidence is useless in court. Not anymore. Now that a body's turned up, that facility is prime investigation territory. No problem at all going in there. The problem now is, uh, there's a chance nothing's left. Huh? Why's that? Well, because they abandoned it. The locals told me about a bunch of trucks going up to the lab and out of there a while ago. It's pretty likely the scene's been wiped clean. We still ought to take a look for ourselves. There's always the possibility that something was left behind. Yeah, let's bust this mastermind's ass! Pretty chill, huh? Wonder when that happened. Hmm. Hey, anyone find anything yet? Nothing. And I mean literally nothing. It's like this place didn't know shit about jails. All I've found are very roundabout reports. We may have been too late coming here. I know it's a little late to ask, but aren't people supposed to preserve crime scenes? We just so happened to find out it was a crime scene after poking around. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Aha! I've scored the treasure! There was a USB drive in the director's office! Hell yeah, Futaba! Nice find! I can't believe something like that got left behind! Me too! That sounds like the first kind of thing they'd want to get rid of. Yeah. Ah, but it very well could be the most important evidence. It was hidden in the director's desk drawer. Ah, so he may have committed suicide, but beforehand he left just the little smoking, uh, I was going to say smoking gun, but that's kind of a bad analogy in this situation. He, he left the last clue that we needed. You really did find the treasure here. Well done. Yep, except it was actually Sophia's idea to look there. I searched the internet for the top 10 places people hide things in the workplace. Hmm, you've got quite the nose. Hey Morgana, Sophia's got you beat. This isn't a contest! Well, let's see what you found. You in yet, Sakura? Just a sec. It's password protected, but nothing the mighty Oracle can't handle. Well, there it is. This is uh, a list of some sort. Apparently this drive holds nothing but people's names. Is it a list of the people working here? No. These names. These are famous or otherwise powerful people in all sorts of industries. Rich and famous people? Is it like a list of sponsors? Hmm. I could have sworn I've seen all these names recently. They're all people with jails? Let's see. Yoshikawa, he confessed to document tampering a few weeks ago. Oh, okay. These are all, well, they're all people who have had changes of heart, but... Now that you mention it, this one's the Sapporo Central Councilman who confessed to bribery last month. Wait, you mean the person who had his heart changed by Mari-san? That means this list is... Hmm. Targets of hearts to change. That's it. This is a list of people whose hearts the Mastermind wanted changed. But why so many powerful figures? What exactly is being accomplished here? That's still a mystery. I'm gonna need that USB drive for a while. How do you intend to make use of it? I'm gonna snoop around the whole roster, from the bottom of the ladder on up. So, whoever would benefit most from all those people getting their hearts changed, you think that'll be the culprit? So, the monarchs just happen to be people who were in a position to change sp other people's hearts. So, it's more the monarchs were just a means to an end. It's like, yeah, it had collateral damage and it splashed onto a ton of other people, they got the one person they wanted to the heart changed of, or the couple of people. Okay, interesting. So I guess if you wanted a heart changed in Tokyo, you would go to, um, 
uh, you would go to Alice's palace, or Alice's jail, sorry, and you would then use that to, in order to change one specific person's change of heart and get them to act in a specific way. Okay, I think I'm seeing where this is going. Bingo. It'll take time, but I swear I'll do whatever it takes to get to the bottom of this. That kind of swearing may be good and all, but you should probably go home to Akane every so often too. Uh, I was gonna. At any rate, you've helped us a great deal by now. We got to crash at his place, and he kept us from getting ambushed. Nice work, Senkichi. He seems like he's fitting in better too. What do you say? Feel like you're a phantom thief now? <laughs> Why would I want to go from public security to national fugitive? Anyway, I'm heading back to HQ. What are you kids gonna do? Good question. There really isn't anything we can do until Zenkichi identifies the mastermind. Uh, should we go back with him to Kyoto for now? Do we really have to? That boat made me so sick last time. We could just hang out here. Then why not go to Kyushu instead? Our boat trip won't be too long if we do that. We could even scout the area for jails. Sure. That's a great idea, although I don't want to leave the beach. I don't want to leave the beach. I'm sorry, but I don't think I want to stay any longer. Fair enough. <laughs> you were totally peeking out the windows all night long while everyone slept. Hey, Futaba! Off to Kyushu, huh? Sounds good. I'll keep after whoever's at the bottom of these cases. The moment I find out, you'll know. I have consulted the ferry departure timetable. We will be able to leave immediately if we hustle. Well, time to roll out. Let's pack up and head for the docks. Hey, hey, not yet. Give me a second. Hey, hey. Ah, we'll be saying goodbye to this beautiful place far too soon. You sure there's nothing left you want to do? Once you board the boat, there's no coming back. Make sure you get it all done. Once you're ready, let's take the RV back to the port. My apologies for bringing this up, even though we're leaving soon. There's something I wanted to ask of you before we go. Do you have some time to talk? Please let me know. Okay. Do we? Did we? We got no requests Here's in this entire place? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, we're obviously going to go around and uh, talk to people. I also want to do some cooking and get all of our cooking stuff done. And hey, maybe there's something else that we can do here. But that's it for today. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.